but will begin in Pulaski County where some parts of Interstate 30 hit hard by strong winds. Several trees, poles, even semis toppled by the gusts of wind. Susan L. Corey is live tonight from that area and Susan, cleanup is just beginning. What is it looking like right now? All the debris, pieces of tree you're seeing around me were actually scattered across I-30. Crews have since picked that up, but the storm really leaving its mark out here. Behind me, you can see buildings that were damaged. There's pieces of insulation from those still stuck in the fence. And then just past that, that semi truck you see righted was toppled over earlier today. That has since been picked up. I did talk to one man who was out here when the storm hit, and he tells me he's grateful that he was in his car and not inside one of the buildings here. I was directly in the line of it right here is where you see where it came through. I Metal siding hangs off the building. I was supposed to be in here working. Looking at shattered glass and debris littering the floor. All of a sudden, it got really dark. I heard something roaring. Jason Ward counts himself lucky. He wasn't working inside Little Rock Fence Co. when a possible tornado touched down. I didn't know what to do. Instead, it's this damage to his truck just outside. The two by six came out of the shop right over here and it just come flying toward me. I mean, directly, bam, and it slammed right there. I was sitting in the truck. I just hunkered down and after that. I was like, oh no. Putting what happened in perspective. It slammed up against my door over here and it's probably two inches from going right through the windshield and killing me. The storm ripped through these warehouses with winds strong enough to knock over several semi trucks and topple trees before crossing Interstate 30. It was so dark you couldn't see nothing in front of you really. I mean about 10 feet in front of you is all you could see and the debris cloud and once it passed you could see the transformers popping going that way. As cleanup begins, Ward is just grateful this destruction can all be repaired. You never know when something bad's gonna happen. Always be prepared, you know, to meet the Lord. crews are out here working right now to fix down power lines. Little Rock police tell me one person was injured out here when their car was hit by a sign that was flying across I-30. That person only had minor injuries. Live in Little Rock, Susan O'Corey, back to you.